Hey Virgo, this is Moon Pie Tarot here getting ready to do your next three months love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus, June, July, and August. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, oh, this is love and general. So whatever I pick up for the next three months. Um, yeah, personal reading link is in the description box below. And uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Moon Pie Tarot. And also, um, well, there's so many things to say and I don't want to just do the whole introduction thing. So go down in the description box. You'll find everything you need to know. Um, and also um, hit like, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome. I would greatly appreciate that. All right. Okay. Wow, Virgo. Virgo, I have a new channel called House of Virgo here on YouTube. The link is down there, um, I think. I think I put the link there, but uh, just type it in, House of Virgo, and you will be able to get daily Virgo readings from me. I, I do love readings every single day there, okay? All right, June, you've got deception and envy, temptation, positive movement forward. All right, I don't even need clarifiers for that because I see what's going on in June. July, remember, these are entertainment purposes only readings, so whatever. I try to bring the positive messages for you, but whatever is going on, you know, we'll just leave it there. July, you have awareness, obstacle and challenges and solitude. Oh my goodness. August, you have material and spiritual prosperity. Fulfillment of wishes. Okay, mental conflict. Jeez, you're all over the map, Virgo. What the heck? All right, so somebody's envious of you in June. You were very tempting. <laughs> Deception and envy. There's just kind of like... There is, there's, there's a circle, a group of people or a person, male or female, watching you. This person kind of hides behind a mask. Now this could be a lover, this could be a friend, but somebody is secretly watching you, Virgo. Um, all right, let me see here. Oh boy, Virgo. Um, trying not to get caught. I also feel like somebody is, like there's deception, but I feel like they're maybe like thinking about apologizing to you. Ace of Cups, nope, somebody's totally whew, like in your they're envious of your ability to be inspirational in some ways. Um, Ace of Cups, new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage, okay? But this is an element here of like you have some kind of new beginning happening or you're initiating. You're being oh sorry, you're being courageous or being all about yourself. And there's somebody here watching you. There may be somebody kind of hiding a little bit who's just watching and hoping to have like a love start with you um, <laughs> in June. Now you also have temptation. This is double. There's a little bit of obsessiveness happening here uh, from someone. Okay, we have... Let me just go. Let me just keep going. Oh my gosh, I just noticed on this card, this person is like, look at the key with the heart on it. This person has is holding the key to your heart and they, they wanna unlock it. They're very, they're very tempting. Or they're thinking you are very tempting to them. Okay, the fool. Wow, they want a new start with you, Virgo. That's Aquarian energy. This person's willing to risk it, risk the temptation, risk that they could definitely be sexual lust of some sort. Um, and I hope you understood that. It could be like addictiveness to you. I'm feeling like, oh gosh, I'm feeling like Yolanda Salvador from Selena. Like you're not, your life's not threatened. 
I just feel like somebody here, be careful. Somebody could be coming in to offer a cup of love or just have a new love start, but you've got deception and enemies. Just be very careful. Um, this doesn't have to be romance. This could be somebody in your tribe or somebody who, you know, is in your circle that you thought was good a good person. They may not be doing anything. It's just they're watching, right? It's I'm just getting some creepy vibes, that's all. But it's not bad. There's nothing going on. This person could be coming from far away, okay? Um, they're on some kind of an adventure or want to have some kind of, like, adventure with you, right? It, it may just be, though, like, as far as love, this person's kind of, like, they hide a little. They might be, like, kind of shy. They might have, like, that, you know, uh, not really show themselves too much, Okay, you've also got positive movement forward. All right. I feel like all of June is all about love. Speed, quick change, action, positive news coming in. Uh, Cupid's arrows. <laughs> this travel. Oh, and I just said that enemy of the chariot. Oh, there's travel. There's somebody, again, action and change, a journey. Somebody's coming in in June. That they are just so like attracted to you. There's physical, like they can't get enough of you. They want to like take a risk. They want to go for it. They want to have a love thing with you. They're kind of like watching you. They're not saying anything, you know. They're kind of like being behind the scenes. Um, I feel like like. June 7th and 8th will be symbolic and also the 15th. All right, let's get out of there. I'm getting out of that energy. <clears throat> okay, July, you've got awareness. Um, this is like focused creativity. Turning your visions into reality. Inspired action. Okay, that's magician energy. Um, hmm. Page of Cups. Okay. Oh, Virgo, you are so sweet. You are so thoughtful and so kind. You volunteer your time and your effort, your work. There's communication happening, sweet communication. Could be related to a creative endeavor. Um, working on something, working with a child for some of you. Um, there could be a child or children around you that inspire you um, to take action in your life. You know, there's some, there's definitely some communication coming in for you, and it's going to be very lovely. July 1st, sometime around July 1st. Now, you also are facing some kind of obstacles and challenges around the 5th. Okay, um, there's rivalry. <laughs> It's a bit of rivalry. Um, hmm. um, it's weird. I kind of feel like, um, You might be feeling like um, there's a financial struggle. You're trying to bridge two. I just feel like you're, I see you trying to bridge two things into one. That's all that I'm saying. There's a gap. And you're trying to figure out a way to bridge this gap. Two things into one. Bring two things together that are, are kind of like meant to be together. But there's a break in there's a, there's a need to seal it together. There's a break in in the middle. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're seven of pentacles. You're trying to figure it out. Heavy duty thinking could have something to do with finances or money. Um, planting some seeds and waiting for them to grow. Okay, um, but also trying to f yeah, that's what the gap is. He's got something here that you're doing in July that you believe could be 
um, successful with your patience and hard work. There may be delayed success and a lot of waiting. Um, this gap is going to bridge itself. And so you just have to trust, okay? I feel like you're going to come across this. Feels more like a pothole. There'd be like a pothole. And you're going to be trying to figure out how to fix it in some way. And I feel like it's just going to fuse on its own. Somehow, some way, like universe or spirit will take care of this because there's uncertainty around it. And when you have a sense of uncertainty, you want to realign um, and you want change and you want to fix things like you want to fill this hole. But I feel like they're telling you spirits telling you to just wait, be patient, take your hands off the wheel, back off. It's going to fuse itself. It's going to go. It's going to fix itself. You don't have to fix something here. It'll work out. You also have solitude. So sometime around July 9th, um, you're going to be kind of like I see you going within. Um, you're getting into your hermit energy, that aspect of yourself that's the hermit. Um, you're on some kind of quest for spiritual truth, spiritual illumination, going in for some clarity, studying, reading. It's such a Virgo thing. You like to study. You like to read. <gasps> the lovers. Oh my goodness. Well, Virgo. Sometime in July... Around the, around the 9th or the week of the 9th, there's an opportunity to come into union with someone and I feel like you're going to take a step back to try to figure out if this is something you're thinking about love. You're, you, you'll have definitely love on your mind. You'll definitely be thinking about a twin flame could be current or past you may be going within to try to sort something out um, trying to come in harmony about a connection some of you are just overthinking the heck out of stuff and you're just you know you know well, let me get out my my book. Let me re let me read this person's chart. Let me see why things didn't work out. Let me see why things do work out. You know, oh, it's because you know their north node is in Cancer, and my north node is in Taurus, and our rising signs don't match, but our sun signs do. And let me read, 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 and let me just think. I got to find the perfect person, and blah 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 blah. Listen, even me as a tarot reader. Like, I don't even go to those lengths. I'm just, and it's not that I'm against it, but it's just so much easier to just let, you know, whatever's meant for you, Virgo, let it be. And whatever is not, let it be, right? Because if it's meant for you, it will come to you. And if it's not, you don't have to worry about it. It's not meant for you and there isn't anything you can do about it. Is it bend over backwards, overthink it, drive yourself insane, try to figure out a way to make something happen? You know, um, love will come to you. Don't, don't, uh, don't break it down and overanalyze it. Just when it comes, just kiss, <laughs> just kiss, just love. It's beautiful. That's Gemini energy right there. Okay. So July is interesting. All right. Now, August. Material and spiritual prosperity. All right. There's an element here of like... You're going to like start seeing some money coming in. <laughs> That's what I feel. Okay. This feels very much like... The material and the spiritual world are going to come together and you're going to be very prosperous in that area. I don't know exactly what you're doing, but I feel like you're just going to be standing there on the balcony like, okay, where's my check? Where's my stimulus? <laughs> you're just going to be like, what? Yo, where's, you know, I'm waiting. That money's coming. I know it's a spiritual, like, um, I'm enlightened, higher conscious. 
higher levels of consciousness here and um you know uh, you know it's coming to you let's get another card here because i feel like this energy is like recognition and reward of some sort for you okay good news success some victories happening here okay queen of cups keeps showing up in these readings darn her she's encouraging us all to be more nurturing and heal and get into our healing mode and be more supportive that might have something to do with your material and spiritual prosperity really getting in alignment with your emotions and how you feel really like coming from the heart like the queen of hearts king of hearts okay two of wands wow that's waiting look at this two people right both of those people waiting maybe waiting two people waiting for each other could be but it's mostly an energy of like making plans and waiting for results okay um making a choice could be travel you're sharing your emotions with somebody in, in August, um, around the 6th, could be a birthday, um, wishing someone a happy birthday, August 9th, the week of August 9th, fulfillment of wishes as well, um, that's the nine of earth, you're going to be like, once you get whatever you're waiting for, if it's money or something, man, you're going to be in like, material, total abundance, not just prosperity, but abundance. You're going to be in this place of like, your wishes are finally coming true. Your health is excellent. Material wealth. You'll be able to like self-sustain by your financial gains, solo pleasures, your luxuries. Things are looking up here. And then you get the nine of swords. Because of course, Virgo, you're going to stress about that everything's so great why oh it's too much anxiety i feel overwhelmed i can't sleep you could be just up all night analyzing what the heck is happening in my life everything is so great let me pick it apart no stop okay don't stress i feel like it's an, a feeling of over being overwhelmed by love great beautiful love coming in partnership your career doing well things looking up for you maybe there's relocation and some for someone okay but you, you know take care of your mental health virgo right think only positive thoughts virgo when those swords come in at night go take your happy pills <laughs> just only think positive thoughts think positive think how of your blessings because the sun is about material happiness see the joy in it not the negativity in it the sun is a joyous outcome mental conflict but of course you won't listen to me okay so actually your mental conflict is coming from do you want to Commit to something long term. Taurus energy, the high priest. You've got something coming up here. It sits under the lovers. Somebody might be wanting to get into a committed long term kind of thing with you. And you have a decision you're going to have to make. You might have to choose between two people. Um, you, you, have a, you might have to compromise. I feel like there's going to be an element of confusion or indecision. It may be too much information coming in. Um, it's causing some mental conflict for you with this. It could be like having to um, go to work, um, in a sense, like go back to the corporate world. Things are opening up. Um, you know, this is all about your expectations of yourself as well and being having mental conflict. I feel like you need to just not be so hard on yourself, Virgo, and accept yourself. All of your imperfections, those are the things that make you so amazing, Virgo. My best friend is a Virgo, and she is 
like I love her and even even in all of like she's so authentic it's when she's authentic with me and she shows me who she is even when she doesn't want to or even when she just she always says she's sorry but i just you know like she's a true virgo <clears throat> she has such a good heart, a heart that her imperfections i can't ever see them so your mental conflict it's like you have the keys but you're not sure if you want to open some doors okay with the high with the higher font you know you've got your traditions or maybe you were raised under traditional values, conventional expectations and conformities. There's something happening here with you. Wow, death. There's a transformation that's happening. This may not be related to love. It could believe, be in your spiritual beliefs. Some things are changing. You may be deciding to leave a particular... What the heck? You may be deciding to deviate away from a particular um what's the word i want to use i know there's no comments if, if my comments were open i'm sure you guys would tell me a, part a particular set of values or something you were raised with or uh, a belief system but you you're kind of like you're conflicted about that you don't know if you should let it go or if you should like believe in something else like there's a lot of conflicts okay you don't have to make a decision i just feel like you know this could be resonating for you at any time but i feel like it's really going to come up and be important around this end of august um or maybe even like around the second there's something though going on here with you um you're of two minds that's what i see two minds about Committing um, either for one, there could be a Taurus and a Scorpio. Um, it could be a relationship, marriage, commitment, whether to leave a committed uh, relationship that you are already in, that you're committed in, or that you were hoping to be. Yeah, you got a little bit of some stuff going on. Try not to overthink it. Okay. Angel Wisdom Tarot, and then we'll move on to the end. Oh, try not to worry too much, Virgo. You've got a lot of stuff. I just feel like the main message here for you is to have faith. Keep your faith. Okay. Um, some of you may be thinking also of leaving a job. That's that was just coming to me. You may be conflicted about either leaving one job or switching jobs, careers, leaving some kind of institution of some sort, um, wherever you work or whatever you do. It could be anything. Just leaving like a structured environment and either leaving it and going to something else or just being done. It could, for some of you, it could have something to do with, heck, retirement could be getting in that place all right give me angel card messages okay so three of cups news worth celebrating joyful announcements like engagements weddings pregnancy or graduation a time for gratitude close communities or chosen families so june definitely something coming up july you have, oh, the Ace of Swords, brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Okay, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective. Okay, so June, there's some type of, like, could be some reunions, some parties. Um, definitely a time for you to be in gratitude. Very close celebrations, barbecues. You know, there could be a pregnancy that you find out about in June. Somebody could be graduating, could be you. Um, there could be an engagement. All right, July is like overcoming obstacles. Things, I felt like to say that things are going to fuse for you. 
just have faith that everything will work out remain objective okay and august you have oh okay do what you love virgo recognition for the highest quality of work especially creative endeavors being paid well for your craft working well with others and having an excellent reputation all right virgo so those are your messages i hope that they resonated for you have a wonderful summer in three months please hit like share and subscribe on your way out and i will speak to you very soon take care bye